If you're screwed for your microeconomics final exam, I'm a tutor and this is how you find tariff revenue, deadweight loss, and consumer and producer surplus. And before we get started here, if you want to see where you stand for your exam, go take my free practice exam in my bio. It's got 25 of the most common types of problems I see professors put on their exams. And afterwards, you'll get a unit by unit breakdown so you can see what you need to focus on. All right, with that said, the first thing to understand here is that a tariff is not gonna get implemented in a domestic only market. This economy, this country right here is not gonna be operating at this equilibrium price at the intersection here. We're gonna imagine for the sake of this example that they're actually operating at this world price, PW. Now what's gonna happen here is that the government is going to be adding on some dollars to this world price that being the tariff amount per unit. So let's imagine the government comes in and actually bumps up the price to so this line right here. We'll call this PT. This vertical distance right here is the tariff amount per unit. The government's basically saying that, hey, you can still trade at the world price, but we're gonna tack on this tariff here and actually bring the price to this level right here. From here, we can start to see the areas form. We're gonna start with tariff revenue right here. In this economy now, domestic suppliers are going to supply this many units call it 10 units here. And domestic consumers are gonna demand this many units. We'll call it 20. Actually, I'm gonna call this 25 to make it easier for us to understand the numbers here. This means that in this country, they are importing 15 units. Consumers demand 25 at this tariff price, but producers are only willing to supply 10, so they're gonna import the remaining 15 from the world market. And the government's going to collect this tariff on each of those units imported. Meaning that this rectangle right here is tariff revenue. The area of this, the base is the number of units imported and the height is the tariff amount per unit. Multiply those together and you get the total tariff revenue that the government's collecting on imports. Next, let's move into consumer and producer surplus. At this price now, all of these consumers along the demand curve lying above the tariff price are gonna be buying the good and achieving all these vertical lines worth of consumer surplus and on an individual scale. When we sum those together, we get this big triangle right here of consumer surplus. Basically everything above the tariff price and below the demand curve. It's the total additional benefit that consumers are achieving by buying this good at the tariff price. And to be clear here, it used to be more. It used to actually expand down to the world price. But now that the government's bumped up the price with the tariff, it's cut into consumer surplus. 